hey so you install intel extreme tuning utility and this happens unable to start because of a system incompatibility what you need to do is you have to go to xtu documentation and disable these three options in your windows so just press start key and search for core isolation disable the memory integrity of core isolation do not restart the computer yet you have to disable two more options Press the Windows key and search for Windows features and look for these two options. Scroll down, these are called Windows Hypervision Platform and Virtual Machine Platform. Untick both of these options. And now you can restart the system. After restarting, just go to Windows and search Core Isolation and just cross check if it is off or not. And next check Hypervision or Hyper-V and Virtual Machine. If both are off, we are good to go. Click on Intel Extreme Tuning Utility. Now you will see that you can launch the software. So you can click on help and go throughout the whole documentation by your own. I'm gonna skip that. So let's max up the CPU and GPU fans. Now we are good to go. Uh, I am checking Cyberpunk right now. Please note that we have only disabled Windows security features. We haven't made any changes in the Intel Extreme Chain Utility yet. Uh, we are getting very high CPU temperature of 7580. You can see I am running the game at almost high settings on a 3060 laptop GPU. Now all we have to do is turn down the performance core ratio. So what this does is clocks down the CPU. As soon as we do it, you can see the package temperature of the CPU has decreased. Now it will not throttle. When it shows red, it's thermal throttling. When it's blue, it's not thermal throttling. So now you can see the CPU temperatures has instantly gone down to 60s and 70s only. And you can uh, run your laptop for a very long time. So first thing you need to do is disable the secure boot on your laptop or desktop. You can re-enable the secure boot after you unlock the CPU. Go to the advanced boot. Go to security and set superior password. Also you can disable the secure boot from the boot option. 